Hi, welcome to the India's most trusted and number one telecalling CRM, Neota. In this video, we'll learn about the components and features of Neota CRM. Let's start with the admin portal first. To log in in this admin portal, you have to log in with the credentials provided to you. And after logging into it, you will see this dashboard. This dashboard will provide you a brief summary about your sales and also some shortcuts to different pages of the product. Let's start with contacts. If you have a file or an Excel file to be precise, which contains the data, you can upload that file and the data of the file through this upload contact section. You just have to drag and drop the file. The next way to upload the leads is integrations. Now it's a fantastic feature where we can integrate our CRM to multiple platforms like Facebook, Google Sheets, Just Dial, India Mart. If you are into real estate, you can also uh, integrate with some real estate platforms. The next thing we'll learn about is pipeline. So what is pipeline? Pipeline is a category, is a bucket containing specific set of campaigns, which eventually contains the data. If we see, here are different pipelines created. If you want to see in the whole, you can see how the pipelines are visible and under the pipelines, you can see the campaigns, which contains the data. If I open a particular campaign, you will see the list of campaigns into it, which contains the data. Now, how these pipelines are created? So you can see in this manage pipeline section, there are various things which you can do. So in a pipeline, you can create the stages through which your leads will be passing. So it is totally customizable. You can edit as per your choice. Then if you want to create a campaign from scratch, you will have to go to this create campaign section where you will be naming a campaign. You will be selecting a pipeline in which you want to put that. And then you will be also selecting a campaign manager. So you can select a particular manager for a particular campaign. Under that campaign, you can select the agents, basically your telecallers who will be working on this campaign. In the additional settings, we have the lead distribution setting where you have different ways through which you can assign or distribute the data to your agents. You can equally assign it. You can assign on the conditional basis and we have an AI assignment model as well. Then we have a duplicacy setting where you can just set up a duplicacy. Either you want to ignore it, you want to create it or maybe merge it as per your choice. This is how a campaign is created. When a campaign is created, you have the next step as creating an engagement form. This engagement form will be used by your telecallers in their user portal so that they can save all the information about the customers in this form itself. In this form, you can basically create different type of questions. Questions can be of different, uh, you know, it can be option questions. It can be drop down list questions. It's totally up to your choice. This is totally customizable. In this engagement form, we have a very interesting feature, which we call as a multi-channel communication button. Through this button, your telecaller can send messages to customers without saving their numbers. They can send messages through WhatsApp, SMS and email, all three of them. You just have to drag and drop to create the button. You can change the name of the button as well. And you can predefine the template so that your agent doesn't have to type the text. Another section we'll understand would be reports. In this report section, you have user call report where you will be able to see the real time updates of your call stats of all the agents at one go. 
you can see the total calls attempted, connected, not connected, in progress leads and other call matrices. You can also filter out of which user or agent you want to see the report for and you can also filter on the basis of the date and time. There's an option to download this report as well in the CSV format. The another report which we have is login report. In the login report, you can select any particular user you can select the date and you will be seeing few reports like hourly report, which will show you how your agents are performing on an hourly basis. You can see the bifurcation as well of not connected and yes connected calls into a particular hour. Then you have a day wise report where you can see total number of calls connected, attempted and also you can see the how many breaks are taken. You can also see the timeline when the that when your agent has started working, when he took a break, when he again started, just to particularly analyze the efficiency of your agents. Another part which we have is marketplace. So we have few value added services where you can avail uh, cloud telephony services, uh, you can avail the soft phone services. So we have few providers in that. So to know about more, so to know more about these vast services, check out the other videos which we have. The another option we have is SMS automation. In this SMS automation, if you purchase our value added services of bulk SMS, then we can set some kind of automations on the basis of triggers. Now the recent feature which we have is workflow. In the workflow, we can basically create events and triggers within our CRM software so that it helps you with few kind of automations. To understand more about workflows, you can check out other videos in our YouTube. So this was our admin portal. I hope you liked it, you understood it, that it can really help you to streamline your sales process, make your agents and your telecallers more efficient and effective.